All right, so Mavis is just randomly wandering through the forest, and she's wearing her dress again, which is strange to me, from her from what she was wearing in the last episode to what she's wearing now. I think I'm pretty sure she was wearing something different. Right? But I just realized she's all illusionary stuff, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the show's that complex. <laughs> uh, don't tell me he's naked. Oh, come on, my dude. You're just randomly always somewhere. Why would you just randomly there? Wow! Random guy is random. Huh? Yo, she's a little girl, bro. Sorry. That didn't come out like it should have. <laughs> what? How do you get dressed so quick? Okay. Okay. Jesus Lord. He is so emo. Okay, and then yeah, but he also touched the water. You know what I mean? Wouldn't the water just um Precipitate or whatever. All oh, right, because she's a nerd. She knows everything. Rick <laughs> How is it that that one guild had books of everything? Come on now. And then they get beat up by some random us. Ooh, they get beat up by some random other guild. With all that knowledge they had, it don't make any sense. I'm sure she said important things, but whatever. Knowledge. Okay. Living this way is awful. It's difficult not to feel like a villain when everything I touch dies. Yeah, sad. It's very kind of you to stay and talk with me. But I don't want to make you sad. Well, that's also a contradiction. Yes, it can be true. Everything he touches dies and stuff. How come his clothes I can't remember the last time. Shouldn't he be naked? Okay. I should leave you be. It was never my intention. It's really hard to believe this guy. <gasps> oh no! Why are these? What is going on? Why are these random ass animals coming to him? What is he freaking? What is this Noah's Ark? What is he, Jesus? Moses? I don't know, I'm trying to think of some political people with animals. Okay. Okay. You can feel their warmth. That's silly. What? Oh, 
the forbidden magic. Oh, you. Mavis is playing with the devil. <laughs> wow. Okay, I. I maybe because I, I talk too much and I'm stupid. But. Didn't Sir I said when he comes into contact with living things, they just die? And, and, and we, see, we see it every time with the forest. We see them touch people and they die and shit, right? So, he just said he hasn't talked to people in a very long time. And now he just, get, you know, he's, he's gathering himself with these peepers. And he's able to compose himself and not kill them. So why couldn't he do it before? Why is now any different? I don't understand why we have to meditate so much. What does that have to do with I, I don't know. <laughs> Spells are the concentration that was funny. <laughs> too far away. Energy junk in me. Why was that too funny? <laughs> oh my god, stop! Slow come on! That was funny! And the show's going on. Foundation of Fairy Tale. Of like the whole show and how they do magic. So that explains all the ass pulls and bullshit moments of, uh, I don't lose because I'm Urza, you know. Sure. <laughs> It's just inconsistent because it doesn't flow right. Come on. No. 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 The reason I don't like the feeling thing is I don't know. Let's just say Seraph is, is eager. And he's, he's happy today, you know, but then the person he's fighting is angry. So what are you saying, you know, emotions? Which one ups the other? Happy or anger? You know what I mean? There's still feelings, there's still emotions. So, where? Sure, feelings. <laughs> wow. Word. So they, they, uh, 
they enacted into their feelings. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually working. This is silly, but I guess it makes sense in the context of the world, or not the world, but the show. I wish they would have explained this centuries ago, hundreds of, of episodes ago. But I guess this is why the the season itself is called Fairy Tale Zero, to pretty much explain things and round out the show. You know, I mean, I I get it. Doesn't mean I like it. Uh, that's what she said. What? You're not even real, yo. No one's even had one conversation with this girl, so I'm still gonna believe she's a ghost. And she's doing fire. Look, look at Sarai. He's like, yo, why, why is she talking to no one? He crazy. What about this guy? I'm gonna punch a rock. Wow. I wish that in some way, somehow... I know I'm thinking very cynical here, but the fact that Seraph was the one to teach them how to do magic, um, it would be so interesting that what if they all sacrifice something of themselves to get this magic, and they didn't even realize that they're not just learning regular magic, they're learning dark magic, you know? Wait, lightning there? Yo, is, is he Makarov? I don't, who the hell is Yuri? I don't know who that is. He's gotta be Makarov, right? Am I that dumb? Yeah, and the fact that I'm filming this ahead of time, so I'm sure you guys like, beep, 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 comments, Logan, that is him! Or, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with the lightning, I mean, I would assume so, even though it's not like Makarov did any lightning powers, but, but Laxus does. I don't know, whatever. Alright, what is little kiddo is doing? She's like glowing. Mind you, how does she eventually come up with that power that Makarov talks about? The white light thingy, whatever. And look at that, my dude over here, Proc with the spirit gun. This guy over here is punching rocks and this guy's going super sane. Yeah, yeah, he's got to be Makarov. Because not only is he blonde, but he's using lightning powers. I'm dumb. Maybe Yuri Makarov. Maybe that's his full name. I, I don't know. Maybe we already knew that Makarov's Yuri. 
I just never, you know, I go by first name, people. <laughs> dumb. I mean, it, it explains a lot, in a way. I, I mean, as far as the leadership goes for Fairytale. So. Uh, I mean, I don't understand why Mavis becomes the first leader. And then Proc does. Uh, I don't know, whatever. What? You're the one that saved them in the last episode. It's weird. No. I mean, I don't want Warren to rescue me anymore. Oh, uh, see? They're He's thinking exactly the Whenever same thing. Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah, they're just. They've just been trying to pay it forward. Uh, feelings, right. That that just creates a massive contradiction to the show. I I. I I'm sorry, feelings don't work. I don't think my magic is meant to create powerful attacks. That being said, I want to be an asset. Will you teach me spells I can use to support my friends in battle? Very well. There's a kind of magic that suits you better, one that matches the color of your soul. What? There's a color? Really? You're gonna be an onion. Yeah, so he's a healer. That is more like it. I don't want freaking plants growing out of me. That's just weird. Who the hell's happy about that? It's just strange. Why are they freaking happy about a tree? I'm sorry, but I'll be freaking weirded out. What? <laughs> what? Wait, Mavis? Wow. But that's the still, that's a feeling! Sadness is a feeling! So. Your magic abilities can go in any all sorts of way, depending on your feelings. Doesn't matter if you're sad or happy, you're still feeling something. Am I that stupid and I'm not getting it? What? The Black Wizard Mavis? What? 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 I suppose I should have said goodbye after all the time we spent together. It's odd for me to have done to teach others to use magic, to befriend a young girl. Okay. In any case, I'll never forget my Sure. And I'll treasure that respite. 
You never mention this shit again. Fairy tale would be born just ten short days after what? I left them. I played a large part in its formation. Perhaps I was the reason she met such a tragic end. Uh... Ooh, yo, yeah, that is so true because fairy tale the guild happens, right? But Mavis doesn't live long enough to enjoy it. She dies when the guild, right, happens. I, I don't know. Uh, so, how is she going to die? Is that what's going to be the feelings? You know, she's the white light feelingness. And she's like, I just don't want to fight anymore. Everyone should get alone. And then she exerts whiteness. Lightness. I don't freaking know, man. This... Again, maybe I'm thinking too, I don't know, logical, or maybe I'm just thinking very Logan. But I feel like the whole feeling this kind of destroys the show in a way. Because, again, it doesn't really matter if you're feeling happy versus angry versus whatever. It's still a, a raw emotion, and it shouldn't weigh any less or more, you know? If the good guy's feeling something... And saying, hey, I'm doing this for my friends. While the bad guy's like, hey, I'm doing this for me or for anyone or who cares. Why does it matter? You know, there's just like no threshold. There's just no way to understand how magic works here. And then they were talking about whatever the, the way magic works. And, and let's say when it depletes and then... And it can come back. It works both ways for the bad guys and the ghoul guys. You know? And it's, I don't know. It's just, oh. I don't know. I'm dumb. I don't know. I'm just. Next episode. <laughs> Yeah, I want the power, the fortune power, and fame fortune But I'm running in the marathon with a torch in the rain I'm just a pawn in the game, the they're saying the off with his brain I'm going insane, losing my mind losing in my the mind. illusion of time And this life is up to you to decide I'm gassed up, yup, Jupiter high Self-esteem gets my train of thought rolling Now this logo's in motion